Hi, welcome to my channel. My name's Leilani. You could also call me Lay. Today, I just want to do like a day of reading. Um, well, not fully reading because I plan on going to the movies later in about like two, three hours to see Jujutsu Kaisen. And then there's a little bookstore over there. So I might do like a book shopping vlog. Um, but I wanted to also read because I'm trying to clear out my shelves I don't know you can't see but there's like a pile of books that I'm planning on unhauling so I'm trying to read as much of my physical shelves as possible so I could start unhauling books but what I plan on reading so far is never open it it's a taboo trilogy I don't really know what it's about um I got it for Christmas but the reason why I wanted it was because I like the coloring itself um, but I think it's like a horror book. So I want to read this and then I'll start getting ready and then I'm going to go to the movies. So I'll give you an update when I have one. Okay, so I read the first story of Never Open It, which is the title Never Open It. This book is actually um, three Japanese folk tales. So the first one were following the folk tale of Yurashima Taro, I think. That's how you say it, or Yurashima Taro. And we follow a young Taro who is helping out his mother, gathering food and going fishing for her. And he's like this good boy who follows all this, I guess all these rules. Um, the village loves him and one day when he's fishing, he comes back, he sees two young boys hurting a turtle. And to save the turtle, he offers up all his fish and the boys take it and he releases the turtle back into the ocean. Um, the next day, he goes back to the ocean, the turtle pops up and is like, hey, thank you for saving my life. Also, the princess wants to see you. Um, do you want to come to the dragon palace, which is underwater? So young Taro goes and has the best time of his life because he basically doesn't have to worry about anything. He doesn't have to starve because they just keep feeding him food. He's dancing, he's partying, having the best time of his life. But then one day he's like, actually, I need to go see my mom, right? And the princess wants him to stay underwater and she's like, well, fine, if you have to, here's this box. And if you want to come visit the Dragon Palace again, you would just go to the sea um, and the turtle will know you're there. But what you do is never open it, right? So when he comes back up to the sea, everything's changed. Um, and it's been years. Years have went by, things have changed. And he's in devastation and in shock. Where he meets another person who... Um, went through the same process as him um i don't want to spoil it fully but i enjoyed the story what i think needed a little bit more work is some of the illustrations because even though i like the color pattern and stuff this is one of the fight scenes and i didn't understand what this was like some of it i was like i don't understand so i think some of the illustration needed a bit work um but i enjoyed the story and i think i'm also gonna actually listen to the legit folktale because that would be fun i tried to see if it, there was an animation version on youtube and there's not so it kind of makes me sad but i'm gonna see if i could find like the original folktale so i could get more backstory because the ending i have my thoughts on what it is but I'm scared that I'm wrong you know so I want to read the legit tale so I'm going to get ready and then I'm going to go watch Jujutsu Kaisen and go buy some more books and then I'll read the rest later on today
Okay, so it's later on in the evening. I just got back from the movies. Jujutsu Kaisen was so good. It was so good. Oh my god. I want to rewatch it. But um, I want to show you the books that I got from the bookstore. I only got three. So the first one I got is One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. And I got this because um, I have a poster that's like a 100 movies you need to watch. And this is one of the movies, so I want to do a book-to-movie adaptation one. Um, I got Silence of Bones, which has been on my TBR for a good year now. So I'm excited to read this one. And then I also got Fat Chance Charlie Vega. Uh, my best friend recommended me 12 books to read this year. This is one of the books, so I decided to pick up a physical copy because I didn't want to read it on the ebook. So, my goal now is to complete Never Open It, and then I'll call the video over. You know what I'm saying? Because um, I'm going to end up playing Animal Crossing later tonight with my friend. So, I'll give you an update when I have one. Okay, so I finished the second tale, and it's of Ikyu-san, who is a young boy, and then his friend. Um, they live in like, I don't know what the proper name is, but they live in an area with like where the monks are at, and their master was like, hey Ikyu, don't touch this jar, because it's full of poison. Um, but he had to go somewhere, so he asked Ikyu and his friend to watch over the jar. What happens is Ikyu decides to open it and taste it, and it turns out to be honey. Um, so him and his friends come up with, like, a lie to spin to the master so they could get out of trouble. Um... And then I kind of got confused on a section because, like, it flips the story around, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm trying to understand what the lesson was because they have an animation on YouTube that I might watch later on. But, like, they're saying, like, Icky was, like, really smart. So, like, how he spun his lies... Um, made other masters like want to meet him or be near him but that was in the tale that I read online and here it's just like the one scene where he's lying to his master um, and he was like um, he when his master arrived back he was crying and he said that he broke one of their vases or their statues and he felt so bad that he decided to eat the poison out of the jar. And then the master was like, oh my god, it wasn't poison, it was honey. Um, but yeah, and then something else happens after that. But it was okay. I like the first tale better than the second one. So I'm going to read the third one. Um, I'm currently watching Reading Sprints on Booked and Busy's channel. And... Yeah, so I'll give it up to you later. Okay, so I just finished uh, Never Open It. The last um, folk tale is about the crane's wife. So we follow around this guy who basically sells wood for a living to the villagers and stuff, but everybody looks down on him and call him useless and says he's never gonna find a wife and all this other stuff. So um, the following day, he decides to get up earlier to get better uh, quality wood um, to get more money, but he runs into a crane who has been injured by an arrow. So he removes the arrow and the crane flies away. The next day, um, it's snowing and a woman shows up at his door who's seeking shelter. He welcomes her in, but since he doesn't have enough money and he couldn't sell any wood, 
um, he doesn't have no food for the house. So she's trying to help assist him. And there's like a, what is it? Like a sewing machine, a spindle. And she's like, oh, I know how to use it. And um, I'll use it and you could sell the cloth that I make um, to get food and stuff. So she was like, the only thing is you can't open the door while I'm working. So her job's like a secret. And the next day she like gets sick or whatever, but he ends up selling the cloth for a lot of money and the villagers want to be like his best friend now. Um, but because of that, a lot of people also are curious about the girl because they end up falling in love and she becomes his wife. Um, but there's a rival like Taylor clothing shop that it wants the material that she's making, but she can't make anymore or she's not making anymore. Um, so it gets a little bit crazy. Uh, I like this one a lot, the story a lot, and it's the longest story out of all of them. Um, I think what I really like about the illustrations though is when there's a lot of red right like I like when the red is in there's this other there's another page like I just think it's so pretty but all in all I think I'm gonna read like maybe not today or later on I kind of want to read the the original tales and it's cool because the author actually um, put different versions of the tales. You can't see it, but he marked like three different versions of each tale that he referenced. So I think I'll do that some other day. But all in all, a good read, a good day. I'm going to play Animal Crossing and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!